Welcome to the latest Watercolors Aquarium Gallery video brought to you from the Aquarium Art Studios in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. So I get asked the question all the time, how do you properly acclimate a coral? <coughs> so what I've done is I've gathered around all of my gear, all of the stuff I need to acclimate a coral. I got my coral in the bag, I got my bucket, I got my drip line and my clip. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this stuff and I'm throwing it over there. Second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this coral pop the rubber band. I'm going to carefully reach in the bag, gently pull out the coral, and put it in the tank. There. Now I've properly acclimated a coral to the tank. I know it seems a little silly, but yes, that is how we acclimate corals here at the Water College Aquarium Gallery. Occasionally I've had people come in and say, really, no, you got to do more than that. That's not good enough. It's going to be bad for the coral. No, it's not. They're just fine. You don't need to acclimate coral. A couple of things to pay attention to. Make sure your temperature is close. Make sure your salinity is close. And that's about it. If you have a healthy tank, you buy from a reputable dealer, you do not need to acclimate coral. Anemones, acclimate them. Shrimp, acclimate them. Snails, believe it or not, you should be acclimating snails. Fish, absolutely drip acclimation. Corals, pop them in the tank, good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep those hands wet.